Now we are going to solve the question for GATE 2017, set 1. First question is, the wastewater from a city containing high concentration of biodegradable organics is being steadily discharged into a flowing river at a location S. If the rate of addition of the river water is lower than the rate of degradation of the organics, then the dissolved oxygen of the river water will be. So here we have already seen this in the disposal of sewage effluent that when our wastewater is discharged, so first there will be deoxygenation part and then it is your reoxygenation part. Initially, the deoxygenation rate is much higher than the reoxygenation rate, it is oxygen sag curve. So, after putting that point, after immediately discharging the wastewater, that oxygen concentration will get decreased, it will get a minimum value, then it will get increased. So, option A is, is lowest at the location S? No, it is location S. <coughs> option B is, is lowest at a point upstream of location S. Upstream of location S is not our point of concern. Remain constant at all along the length of the river, it is not possible. Is lowest at a point downstream of location S. Location S downstream means that side, it will be lowest at a particular point. So, it is having, option D is the correct answer for this question. Option D is the correct answer for this question. Which one of the, which one of the following is not present in the acid rain? HNO3, H2SO4, H2CO3 and CH3COOH. Option A, B and C, HNO3, H2SO4 and H2CO3, all are the aqua part of the oxides of nitrogen, sulfur and carbon. They all are present in acid rain. Option D, methyl alcohol, CH3COH is not present in uh, acid rain. Option D will be the correct answer. Two wastewater streams, A and B, having an identical ultimate BOD are getting mixed to form a stream C. The temperature of stream A is 20 degree centigrade and the temperature of the stream C is 10 degree centigrade. The 5 day BOD of the stream A measured at 20 degree centigrade is 50 milligram per liter. BOD rate constant base 10 at 20 degree centigrade is 0.115 per day. Temperature coefficient is given as 1.135. The 5 day BOD of the stream C calculated at 10 degree centigrade will be. So, a stream A, stream B forming stream C. A and B mixed with each other forming stream C. For A, temperature 20 degree centigrade, BOD 5, 50 milligram per liter. Here, temperature is 10 degree centigrade. K20 is given as 0 0.115 day inverse. So, first job is to find out K20 is given as 0.115 day inverse. K-20 will be 2.303 into 0.115, it is equals to 0.264 day inverse. BOD 5 at 20 degree centigrade for stream A is L0 into 1 minus E to the power minus K dash 20 into 5, which is equals to 50 given. So, L0 of A that is equals to 50 by 1 minus e to the power minus 0 0.264 into 5 that is equals to 68.22 milligram per liter that is given. Now, we have, they have told that 
L naught of A is equals to L naught of B. So, once again, L naught of mix will be equals to as they are mixed with each other having same value. So, L naught of mixture will be also L naught of C only average down it will happen. It will be 68.22 milligram per liter only average down because they are having same values. So, now for C, BOD 5 for 10 degree centigrade they are asking that is equals to BOD 5 for 10 degree centigrade they are asking that is equals to what? L naught into 1 minus e to the power minus k dash 10 into 5. Now, we need to find out this k dash 10. k dash 10 is equals to k dash 20 into temperature constant is given as 1.135 into 10 minus 20 t minus 20 that is equals to 0 0.0744 day inverse. So, here if you put this 68.22 into 1 minus e to the power minus 0 0.0744 into 5, final answer will be 21.2 milligram per liter will be your final answer. 21.2 milligram per liter will be your final answer. A spherical grid particles having a radius of 0 0.01 mm and specific gravity 3 need to be separated in a settling chamber. It is given that G equals to 9.81 meter per second square. The density of the liquid in the settling chamber is 10,000 kg per meter cube. The kinematic viscosity of the liquid in the settling chamber is 10 to the power minus 6 meter square per second. Assuming laminar flow condition, the settling velocity will be. Laminar flow condition means you need to apply this modified Stokes equation. Now, for modified Stokes equation, Vs will be equals to 1 by 18 g dp square into g minus 1 by nu. That is equals to 1 by 18 into 9.81 diameter of particle is 0 0.02 10 to the power minus 3 whole square. It is given as 3 minus 1 by 10 to the power minus 6. Radius given as 0 0.01 mm. So, diameter is 2 into 0 0.01 is 0 0.02 mm. That is equals to 4.36 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter per second. Point four three six mm per second will be your answer. 0.436 mm per second will be your answer. The equivalent sound power level in dB decibel of four sources with the noise levels of 60, 69, 70 and 79 decibel are. So, they are asking L equivalent for 60, 69, 70 and 79 decibel. Here, they have not mentioned any time, uh, working time. So, when they are not mentioning any working time, then different sources are if, uh, emitting different noise at a particular time. So, it will be L equivalent, it will be here L total only as they are not mentioning any kind of working time. So, to win, for calculating the uh, total sound level, we can easily go for the shortcut method we have seen. If you take these two, L, 70 will be the L1, need to add 70 plus 69, we need to add, difference is 1, need to add 3, it is 73. If you this, these two, 79 is the L1, difference is 6, you need to add how much? You need to add 1, it will be 80. And between 80 and 60, 80 is the L1, difference is 0, sorry 20, need to add 0, final answer is 80 only. So, your final answer will be 80 decibel.